Did you know that you could fill two swimming pools with the menstrual fluid a woman produces in her lifetime? Now that's a pool party you didn't see coming. Menstruation, or as some like to call it, the monthly subscription, is when a woman's body sheds the lining of the uterus. This natural process is as routine as it is remarkable, mixing biology with a bit of humor. Today, we're going to unfold the mysteries of this monthly event in a way that's both entertaining and enlightening. Stick around as we dive deeper into the waves of menstruation. So, what's this mysterious monthly guest? Well, let's dive into the world of menstruation, a natural and essential part of the female reproductive cycle. Think of it as nature's way of telling you that your body is capable of reproduction. Now, scientifically speaking, menstruation is the shedding of the uterine lining, known as the endometrium. Each month, if there's no pregnancy, this lining, which had thickened to prepare for a potential embryo, is not needed and thus exits the body. This is what causes menstrual bleeding. Let's break down the menstrual cycle into four main phases, shall we? First, we have the menstrual phase, when the actual bleeding occurs. Picture this as the unsubscription phase of your monthly subscription box. Next up is the follicular phase, where the body gears up again, prepping another egg for potential fertilization. Think of this as renewing your subscription. Following this is ovulation, the star of the show, where the egg is released. It's like the moment your subscription box is dispatched. Lastly, we enter the luteal phase. If the egg isn't fertilized, the body starts winding down, much like realizing you're not getting what you hoped for in your box and it's almost time to start over. Just like your favorite TV show, there's a lot happening behind the scenes. Let's check it out. Imagine your body is like a concert and hormones are the rock stars making it all happen. In the grand scheme of things, two hormones steal the spotlight, estrogen and progesterone. These are not just any performers. They lead the show in the menstrual cycle. Let's start with estrogen, the hormone that kicks off the party. It's like the DJ arriving at the club, setting up and starting to spin the first tracks to get the crowd, your body, warmed up. Estrogen takes the stage during the first half of your cycle, making the lining of your uterus plush and comfy, preparing for a potential guest, the embryo. As the cycle progresses, progesterone takes over the decks. Picture progesterone as the headlining DJ, taking the vibes from chill lounge to an energetic dance floor. This hormone amps up after ovulation, maintaining that lush uterine lining and basically telling your body, let's keep everything ready in case we have a tiny visitor. But here's where it gets funnier. Imagine if your hormones were like DJs who suddenly decide to play a random mix of tunes. Sometimes they're in perfect harmony, and other times it's like someone accidentally switched from smooth jazz to heavy metal. That's your hormones mixing the beats of your cycle, ensuring every month is a unique remix. These hormonal fluctuations can make your body feel like it's in a state of constant anticipation and adaptation. One minute you're feeling fabulous, and the next, you could be wondering why you're teary-eyed over an ad for toilet paper. And while this hormonal concert is mostly about rhythm and flow, it's not without its challenges. Mood swings during this time could rival any diva's tantrums. Imagine going from a serene ballad to an intense rock anthem in a matter of seconds. Welcome to the world of menstrual mood swings. But it's not all music and dance. Sometimes there are mood swings that could rival any diva's tantrums. Ever felt like a werewolf under a full moon during your period? Well, you're not alone. When it comes to menstruation, the emotional roller coaster is as real as the physical one. One minute you're laughing at a cat video, and the next, you're sobbing because your coffee wasn't hot enough. Ah, uh, the joys of mood swings. These emotional whirlwinds are courtesy of our good friends, the hormones. Imagine them as tiny directors of a dramatic soap opera, where your feelings are the star actors. The plot thickens with every surge of estrogen and every dip of progesterone, turning your day into an award-winning drama or comedy, depending on the scene. But here's a comforting thought. You're the hero in this blockbuster called My Monthly Cycle. Equip yourself with some calming teas, maybe a cozy blanket, and a good support cast of friends and family. Remember, understanding your body's cues helps you ride these waves like a seasoned surfer. Don't worry. It's totally normal to feel like you're in a soap opera once a month. 
Why do I crave chocolate and feel like a bloated balloon? Welcome to the whimsical world of period-induced physical changes and quirky cravings. Let's dive into why these peculiar phenomena occur and how you can manage them with a smile. First off, cramps. Oh, the infamous cramps. They're like unwanted guests at a party who don't get the hint to leave. Cramps happen because your uterus, the star of this show, contracts to help shed its lining. It's like it's trying to squeeze out ketchup from a near-empty bottle. But instead of ketchup, it's the uterine lining. And instead of a mild annoyance, it's akin to having a tiny wrestler in your belly. Then, there's bloating. Ever felt like you're a balloon slowly being inflated to the point of popping? That's bloating for you during your period. It's all thanks to the hormone progesterone which, bless its heart, slows down your digestion to a crawl. The result? You feel like a pufferfish ready for an underwater gala. And now, let's talk about cravings. Why do you suddenly feel like a squirrel preparing for winter, hoarding all the chocolate and salty snacks in sight? Well, fluctuating hormones like estrogen and serotonin beg your brain for a quick, feel-good fix. So when you reach for that bar of chocolate, it's not just your taste buds you're satisfying, it's your brain demanding a serotonin spa day. To manage these delightful symptoms, consider simple and practical tips. Stretch out with some gentle yoga poses. The cat-cow stretch can work wonders on easing those cramps. And never underestimate the power of a hot water bottle. It's like a cozy hug for your tummy, soothing the savage beast of period pain. So while you might not be ready to run a marathon, there are ways to ease the monthly marathon of symptoms. Embrace these tips, and you might just find yourself dancing through your period or at least not cursing it quite as much. From Cleopatra to modern day superheroes, periods have made their mark. Now let's dive into the colorful history of menstruation and its portrayal in pop culture. Historically, periods have often been shrouded in mystery and taboo, but they've also had moments of glory and empowerment. In ancient times, menstruating women were considered both powerful and dangerous. Imagine that, being able to halt wars or summon storms, all because of a natural biological process. Moving forward in time, literature and films began to depict menstruation more openly, though not always accurately. Remember the scene in Carrie where she has her first period? That was Hollywood adding a dramatic flair to a natural event. Folklore from various cultures also offers a peek into how menstruation was perceived. In some tales, it's a symbol of fertility and strength revered and celebrated. Turns out, periods are not just a tale of woes, but also a part of powerful stories. Who knew the world of menstruation could be so fascinating? Let's take a moment to recap the journey we've just been on. We started with a surprising fact that opened our eyes to the complexities of menstruation. Then we dove into what menstruation really is and how it's a natural part of a woman's life, not a taboo topic. We explored the hormonal ballet that orchestrates the entire menstrual cycle, and how these hormones can throw emotions and the body into a wild roller coaster ride. Remember the tales of cravings for chocolate, or the sudden urge for pickles at midnight? Yes, our bodies do some pretty quirky things during that time of the month. Understanding and talking about menstruation openly is vital. It's a natural biological process, not something to whisper about. Knowledge is power. And the more we know, the better we can understand and support each other. If you enjoyed this whirlwind tour through the menstrual cycle, smash that like button, drop your thoughts or questions in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more fun facts and stories. Catch you in the next video.